I somehow release the sausage into the sauce and then it just gets covered and then I don't like it. You really have to have a grip of the chopsticks. So sliding off. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at. I know that there's pig feet there, but I don't know what the long thing hanging is. That's Samson. Samson. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I just feel like something really simple because it's really hot outside. Gimbap is literally just seaweed, rice, some veggies in the middle. That would be a perfect light lunch snack. I'm gonna try this little sauce here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just fell in. I hope it's not too saucy. Okay. I'm trying the sundae, which is like a sausage actually, which most of the time I don't like. <laughs> actually, this one is actually nice. I'll just let you give you a description in a second. Woo! That dip was very salty. <laughs> because you put it all in. It's burning. How is it? It's really nice without all the salt. Is there a really small piece? Okay, I'm going to find one for you. It's chewy, almost like skin. Yeah. It's not like flesh. Do you like it? It's okay. You want to find one? I'm gonna try the sausage again. Oh, you're liking it! Without okay. dipping it in the, the salty thing. Oh, wow. This one. Mm. And I'm gonna dip it in this, which mm -hmm. looks like ketchup, but it is not ketchup. No. You see, this is the problem. I somehow release the sausage into the sauce and then it just gets covered and then I don't like it. You really have to have a grip of the chopsticks. So sliding off. <laughs> Alright, let's just do this guys. Mm. <laughs> it's better than the salty one. Actually it's nicer without any sauce on it at all. Thank you. 
I just bit into a piece of fish that's actually a slab of eggs. Fish eggs. Fish eggs, yeah. And I'm like, what am I eating? Like, oh my god, it's like breaking up in my mouth. Like, actually, it's supposed to be extremely high in omega 3, but I don't know if I like the texture. I'm gonna eat it because it's omega 3. <laughs> Unfortunately, there was not much wetness in the wetlands here just due to the fact that we're in summer right now This is apparently an absolutely stunning location in autumn. So If I visit again in autumn, then we can take some better footage here. But meanwhile, I mean, it's still very beautiful We're gonna make some gimbap while we wait for this to sit and do it today. One, two. One, two, three. Oh! Yeah! Wow! I'm actually surprised by the amount of work that goes into making this. You need to prepare all the ingredients pretty much. Almost from scratch. Happy birthday to you. Today happens to be my 41st birthday. I'm now in the direction of approaching or leaving my late 30s. And I guess that happened last year. Cheers. Happy birthday to me. The leaves that are right here are grown by Oslock, which is probably the most prestigious green tea leaf producers and tea makers here 
in Korea. Korean green tea is super delicious and I've actually got several, <laughs> several boxes of really lovely Ocelot green tea in my house. It smells of grass. It's been a long time since I've been to a green tea field. The last time was in Jeju Island, but this is gorgeous here actually. This is such a wonderful surprise. We're gonna practice calligraphy. And I, for one, really, really love doing calligraphy, so. Yeah, what, what kind of expression you want, you know, as a... Let's say courageous lady. Courageous. Okay, okay, okay.